Hi guys, Tom Hendrick here from Wee Wee Blogs. I cannot wait because Melody Festival in 2023 kicks off this weekend and it all starts with Heat One and closing the show is none other than Mel Fest legend Jon Enrik Fjolgren and he is performing with Ark North and Adam Woods with their new track Where You Are and I'm very lucky to be chatting with Adam Woods and the CEO of the record label Loud Cult Anton Fargao Petrini. Shall we talk to them? Let's do this. Melody Festival in 2023 kicks off this weekend in Gothenburg, Heat One. And I am joined by Adam Woods and Anton Fargao Petrini. Thank you very, very much for joining me, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Now, how are you? Uh, how are you feeling going into this weekend in Heat, in heat One? I believe you're closing the show, right? Yeah, no, uh, we're super excited. Uh, it's it's been a blast um, to organize everything and and now to actually see everything come together. It's it's just uh, unbelievable. Uh, and we are actually yeah, we're we're going last on Saturday, uh, and hopefully we we'll, we will go out with a bang. <laughs> Yeah, that's a feeling at least. So yeah, it feels amazing. Now, f- forgive me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is your first time competing at Melfest. Yeah, it's, it is for me. Uh, it is for Anton as well as the the label. The the label hasn't done it either, but for me, it's the first time uh, uh, doing doing the Melfest or or any other fest for that matter. I'm uh, not really. Uh, <laughs> I, have, I haven't actually done. Best virgin. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> No, so this is this is actually one of the first times I'm I'm on stage live, which is really uh, really something special. So and I'm uh, a big yeah, stage. It's very, Melody Festival it's, it's, it's the biggest yeah. stage almost in Sweden. Yeah, no, it's huge. I'm uh, I'm usually a songwriter and a producer, so I haven't really done the the live thing this way, which is really really cool and really exciting. I've got the best team ever though, so I'm uh, I'm so psyched. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be really really cool. Absolutely. We'll we'll unpack the song in a bit. I cannot wait to unpack that with you both. But so Melody Festival, your first time. What's your relationship with Melody Festival? And so so have, have you have you been before? Have you have have you what's um what's your relationship with the contest? Yeah, no, it's uh for me it's it's weird because I, I used to watch it all the time when I was a kid. Uh, all the time. It was it was just as uh, one of those you know, family things that you, you would do. Uh, and I think that's the case for most people in Sweden. But uh, then I sort of grew up, I stopped watching. I watched sometimes the finale, but I sort of got distant to it. Um, and uh, and now all of a sudden, it's one of those things where if you're a kid, you don't really think of it as as big as, as it really is. And then you get into it now. And I realize just how huge this is and what what a what a cultural phenomenon this this contest is and, and this 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 party that it is. Uh, so it's, it's really cool to be a part of. Yeah, no, I, I agree as well. I think uh, growing up as a kid, uh, like we always watched Melody Festival and, and I think it's been a big part of, of like every Swedes life <laughs> in some shape or form at least. Um, and I think it's super, like I'm, I'm super stoked to be a part of it. You've seen the whole production and, and also like the whole, the whole team that we have uh, and, 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 and what, what we have come up with, like, seeing that form it's it's so amazing so yeah super super stoked brilliant now before we get to the song let's just say the stars align (laughs) you win melody festival and and you win your tickets to liverpool and to eurovision what is your relationship with the contest with eurovision song contest so what would what would that what would that mean to you guys Oh, everything! It's it's the it's one of the biggest contests, and it is the biggest music oh, contest. Yeah, yeah. the biggest. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's about as as high as you're gonna get. So, for me, that's that's pretty crazy to have the sort of the de- debut on that stage. That's that's kind of cool. Yeah, <laughs> but it, cool. It, it, it of itself is uh is such such a cultural thing, and it's it isn't just like it, it isn't idle. It isn't a contest about a singer it isn't a contest in that way it's it's a cultural f- phenomenal f- like festivity that's just it's so much more than just the music or just it's it's all of it it's it's that 
sort of connecting part of of not just Europe but the world that it's really it's really something special. So I've always sort of looked up to it and saw it as something unique that that we started in Europe and and something that connects us in in a really huge way and that's really cool. Um, and then to also be a part of it is is even even more amazing. So yeah, yeah. And for us as a label to compete like at that level as well uh, would be amazing. And also to have like a, a song that that you really believe in, like and and it's such an e- EDM banger. Um, and also to to be um, like have this Nordic feel to the song as well with the joy and everything. It's very special. So yeah, that would be amazing. Absolutely. Well, you mentioned it, so let's talk about it. So Melfest legend Jan Henrik Fjordgren. His style, very traditional, very folksy. And your, and your style, Adam, your style is more EDM, electronic, dance. Yeah. How did that partnership happen? It's, it's crazy, really. It is. Uh, I wasn't, I'm, I'm not to be blamed. I will just say that. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, Ark, it's Ark North uh, who, who did this. He, he actually contacted uh, Jon Hendrik and, uh, and I think they had met at some point or, or I don't know. If, no, you know, it was, uh, it was Instagram DMs. So he went through Instagram DMs and, uh, and Jon Hendrik blocked him. And it was this whole <laughs> of like, he thinks he's a, uh, he's probably like spam or something. And yeah, it was, it was a whole mess, but then eventually they did come together and they, they got together. They, they made uh, a couple of songs, I think. And and this one found its mark really hit something special. And then, uh, then Oscar was the one who approached me. Who, I mean, we're both in this sort of in the EDM world, the dance world. And, and we do love that thing. I think the thing that made, made sense for me getting to be a part of it was just the fact that what I do is, is an emotional level of, of, of dance. I do love dance, but being a songwriter, I want to sort of create that feeling. I want my, I want my voice to resonate with people. And if that's going to work, then it has to be something more than just, you know, oods, 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 you know, it, it can't be that, you know? So, uh, so I think that matched very well with this song and, and the, the dance part doesn't overshadow the fact that the, the song is about so much more. It's about you and Hendrik's daughter. It's about love that you can't quite reach it's 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 very it's it's a lot deeper than you than it looks on the surface and and that's why this trio works so well and why why we all hit it off so well like us three we've we've become really really close now just because i think we all have the same values and the same ideas of what artistry and what music should be even though we kind of like you said we come from different places but we have the same core of what we want music to be so that's very special yeah, and I think also like Yoik uh, is such a such an universal like language almost. So you can put Yoik into like everything. I feel like it, it can be like a, this is a magic track, and it can be EDM, it can be like metal, it can be whatever. Because like it's it's so profound, uh, and how you pr- perceive it is so different. So so I think um, it really works. And and like you said, Adam, Adam it's 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 a really cool journey that be part of like two different worlds that collide. So yeah. I can't wait. I can't. I can't wait. Now you kind of mentioned it already, hinted at it already with uh with Jan's daughter. So tell me more about the song, where you are. Tell tell me more about it. Uh, the, uh, is it the story behind it and what what it, what it means. Yeah, the the song itself because it has two names, right? So the, where you are is representative of the the English part of the the song, the part that isn't yoik, um, the part that I sing, and and that is. I feel like it's it's very personal, but it is more general and for at least for me and the way I interpret it. It's it's about a love that you can't quite reach, but you you know you want or you know you need, uh, but you can't quite reach it, and uh, and you just you just need that sort of that healing love. Uh, meanwhile, the 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 other name Savachan, which is the the Sami name, is that means little Save. So uh, and that's and Save is short for for uh, uh, Hendrik's daughter. So the the yoik is is about his daughter and the way he resonates with the English lyrics too is is all of that sort of translating into his daughter and his his longing for his daughter and his love for his daughter. So uh, even though you can sort of interpret it in two different ways and it's it, it you might say it's two different parts of of the song. It 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 very it is very much uh, a unit. And uh, and it feels very very uh, very collected. So the song is really yeah about love that 
that you're longing for and that you need uh, as a part of you and something that you you might not have physically, but you 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 have it in your heart and you have it in in uh, in the the psychic world, you know. Um, and whether it's for a daughter or for a, a sister or a, a lover, it that can be interpreted. But uh, that's why it makes it so special. Yeah. Fabulous. Lots of meanings. Lots of meanings. Now, now, now staging. Now, knowing <laughs> your network in the past, it's pretty epic. With especially with I remember twenty ninety with with Norska, and that was a really big song. What should we expect on stage? You can give a little little something, little nugget. Yeah. You, know, you can't tell us everything. I know you can't tell us everything, yeah. but and give us give us a little something. What we can expect on on stage uh, uh, on uh, this weekend? Uh, you should expect a show from us uh, for sure. Uh, we have been we have, we have been trying to to do this as big as we can, uh, and to use also like try to correlate with songs meaning towards the performance um, in the best way that we can. Um, it's, it's, it's all, always hard when you, you just want to do like these big things, but you also want to have the, the intimate feeling towards the audience, like at home. And so, so it's, it's, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a hard not, not to crack, <laughs> but we're trying to go all out and just try to get a lot of emotions, a lot of, uh, hopefully a, a big show for you guys. Fantastic. Yeah. It's, one of those things, I gotta say, like it's it's something you haven't seen a melody F- festival in ever before, just because it's so. I mean, it's big, it's a lot, <laughs> it's it's gonna be a, a one hell of a show. But that being said, you you touched on it, Anton. But it's it's that correlation that everything in the song very much comes together with the visual. There's there's no part that's that doesn't have to be there. That was actually in yeah. the beginning that we actually got yeah, rid of. Let's yeah. not flood this with something it doesn't need. That the the, the yeah. song isn't, for. and it's it's all about complementing the song in the best way. And I think uh, everyone, the the whole team, just did that perfectly. I can't be happier. And we can't wait to see it, gentlemen. We really can't. So February the fourth, Heat One Melody Festival in twenty twenty three. It all kicks off this weekend thank you very very much for joining me gentlemen any 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 final words for the metal fest fans oh just get ready people it's yeah. gonna be incredible i hope you guys can feel what we felt when we made this song and i hope you can really resonate it with it in in the best possible way it's gonna be amazing enjoy <laughs> thank you gents and uh good luck thank you thank so much you. take care take care